Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Lovely Conversations YouTube and, and podcast, podcast channel. I am Alexandria Lee, your lovely host, and sitting next to me is Christopher Lee, my beautiful husband and co-host. So if you are a lovely follower, subscriber, friend, and family, then you already know that this is a conversation that we are about to get into. So welcome back. Thank you for being a part of this journey with us thus far. If you're a new honey, come on in, sit down, have a seat, be prepared for this conversation, be prepared to join and jump in. With that being said, be sure that you subscribe. With you subscribing, you will want to be sure that you also select the bell to get all of the content. And that way you get a, all the... What are you doing? Making sure they get all the content. Have you been mocking me? No. Are you lying? Yes. <laughs> You guys, we drop content every Wednesday, so we want you guys not to miss anything. So just be sure that you subscribe and turn on those notification bells and then select all. That way you can get the content every Wednesday. And like and comment. Like and comment. That's the only way you can join the conversation. All right. So with that being said, you guys, we are talking money and marriage, okay? It is a big, big stigler in a lot of relationships and marriages, and we're just going to get into it. Yes, but before, we are. <laughs> but before we do... We are going to do what we always do. We're going to give you our song of the week. And this week, we are going to let Chris introduce the song of the week. All right. The song of the week is Leon Bridges' Sweeter. And the the song is talking about everything that's currently going on today and the whole Black Lives Matter movement. Um, every time I listen to the song, it puts me in my feelings because he's just talking about, well, the first part is he's hoping for a life more sweeter. And um, it, it says, I think the second part is can't have peace with those judging eyes. And it's just talking about how we are, we get tried for every little bitty thing. And man, it's, it's hard to explain, but just just listen to the song. It, it makes me feel the type of way every time I listen to it. It's nothing... Like just straight, there's no vulgarness. It's it's a nice smooth beat, and he's just explaining everything. It's a good song with a message, you guys. Exactly, it's nice. And it's definitely worth listening to. Like always, it's, we're gonna put it in our description box. That way you can click it. This is gonna the be the video, episode. and we're gonna put the lyric video in there. Absolutely, we started that last week, and you guys really like that. So moving forward, if we can, if there's an actual video and a lyric video, we will give you both. If we cannot, then we'll always give you the video that is most featured with it at the time, okay? All right. All right, you guys, so let's get into it. So I have my notes because I swear I do not want to miss anything with you guys, and I wanna always make sure that, you know, we get into the points, even if we get a little bit off track and get a carried away on one topic, we can always come back. I feel like that was a slight. You, you was... No, no, yeah. not at all. Okay. Not, not at all. That way we can always come back to what we're talking about, okay? So, <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Let's go. You guys, at some point, every relationship, marriage, you guys have that money argument. Sometimes more than less. And it's not something you can avoid. It's mm -hmm. going to happen if you don't deal with it and put it on the table. Yep. Like, babe, when we first got together, <laughs> our money arguments were intense. Because we saw it completely different. Like, we looked at money completely different. We handled bills completely different. We handled money completely We, we definitely handled bills completely different. <laughs> we the money completely different oh, we man. we we valued uh work-life balance differently like it was so much that caused our money arguments and his you know his thinking way of thinking and my way of thinking it just clashed you guys like mm -hmm. when i say it collided it, it collided and we just was like wow like we were one of the couples that was having a money argument more so than less so and so it, that was one of our first like major arguments absolutely like it was really tense for us and for a very long time we could not get on the same page with it right nah it took a while it took a while uh, we we getting we there we're, we're absolutely we're there, there. Yeah. But it took a while. That was a struggle. 
And this is us being transparent, you guys. It's only fair because, again, as we told you guys in our intro, we're not licensed professionals. We're not therapists. We're not, you know, life coaches or anything of that nature. But we have been doing life together for a while. And we have faced some things in that time period that we feel is only fair to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you can pick it up and apply it, then pick it up and apply it. If, if it's not for you, put it down, share it, and allow someone else to pick it up and apply it. But we just want to be transparent I, with you guys. I saw what you did there. Yeah. Yeah. You liked it? Yeah, it was okay. all right. Huh? So we Call just, <laughs> we just want to be transparent with you guys <laughs> and allow you to understand, you know, what it is we are doing when it comes down to our money managing. Okay. okay. So let's get into it. All right. What's the next on the docket? All right. So it's no secret. Money is like, not only they say the root of all evils in a lot of ways and you know, they say money can't buy happiness, but I'm pretty happy when I have money <laughs> and my bills are paid off and I can go get my nails done, my freedom, which they tends to take care of that, you know, but, you know, I can do something fancy with my money. I can say, baby, let's go away for the weekend. I can say, you know, we're going all out on date night. What it be? So I understand that. I can buy equipment. He can buy equipment. Like, I understand when people say money <laughs> is not everything, but... It's up there. It's it's at the top and it's important. And <laughs> if you if you don't handle it well, if you don't discuss it well in your marriage, it can be the leading the people, cause. The people that say money ain't everything, obviously. They ain't had money. <laughs> they ain't had well, it. If they be the people with the money and they be like money ain't everything, they still not happy. So uh, luckily they're not happy because you, they got some other stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, you yeah, like cause the money ain't the problem. Like you're not happy no anyway. Let me get some money in. Let me get some money. Shoot. Let us get some money. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, you uh, you guys, we are going to just get into it because money, unfortunately, is an issue in a lot of marriages and the leading cause. One of the leading causes for divorce and for relationships and marriages not to make it because people don't deal with their money issues. Mm -hmm. So, um how many topics do I have? So I have five points I want to cover that have helped us and that have, has allowed us to get to a point of where we can say that we are now managing our money together as a unit and as mm -hmm. a married couple um, to where it's no money arguments, okay? Nah, And if it is a money argument, because we are applying these, these steps, it allows us to quickly get past that money mm -hmm. argument and make it more of a discussion conversation and not something that would in the past cause so much conflict. Fair? Fair. Let's go. Let's do this thing. So you guys, it is important from day one. And I know this is scary. I know this is hard to do, but you must be transparent about your money. Be transparent about your financial Make issues. Make it see through. Make it see through. Like you got to put it on the table and you know, be transparent about your financial issues. You cannot be secretive mm. about your money problems. You can't be secretive about your money. Nope. You have to be healthy and have a money communication. You know, um, be open about your financial troubles. Yes. Your debts. That's the big thing. And your credit. And be willing to have that conversation so that you can remove those financial conflicts. So, babe, for us... It was it was major because we initially didn't put our financial anything on the table. We just kind of went in stumbling once again, all in love, mm -hmm. and then boom, we hit that speed bump. So, what was that like? For me, it was. I've always had a way I'd done things, and you did things completely different. Mm -hmm. And when it came to how we manage money, mm -hmm. I was the type of person. I'm going to struggle now mm -hmm. so I don't have to struggle later. Mm -hmm. And fun time, it would come once I had everything taken care of and paid for. Mm -hmm. Whereas you, you were more of, you, you lived in the moment. You mm -hmm. took care of the little bitty things as they would come. So minimum here. Bills. Yeah. You took care of the bills and you took care of everything that you needed, but you would do your minimum. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to drop, two three hundred <laughs> every month on stuff i would be broke 
but I would have all my bills paid. And we had to find a balance in that because, mm -hmm. you know, we learned from each other in that. So, yes, I was one to pay my bills, but I wouldn't plan. I wouldn't save. I wouldn't think about maybe putting a little bit more on something to knock something down where Chris would. And for me, I'm like, Chris, that's a great thing. And we would bump heads about him doing it because I'm like, you don't have to go to where you're broke. Like, you worked hard. You have earned this money. So, you should have something to reward yourself or have something to show for that. Mm -hmm. Even if it's going into your savings. So we had to get to a point to where it was balancing us to where, yes, pay your bills, honey. Yes, me pay my bills, but also don't be to the point to where you're broke because that's unfair to yourself. And you're going to even feel more so that you're more paycheck to paycheck. And yes, it's nice to, you know, get things done and not struggle now and enjoy the benefits later. But you got to enjoy life in between that. And that's where, you know, we struggle because I'm like, I got to enjoy life now. You know, like tomorrow can be gone and I'm sitting here just trying to attack, attack, attack all these things and I haven't got the chance to do anything. But that also has to do with the way I was brought up. That's true. I was brought up my my parents, my mother, she was she was in debt like real bad. And I I saw that and I never wanted that to be me. So Absolutely. From the time I was in high school, I just started building credit. Yeah. <laughs> I built it up and built it up and I talked with um, a Chase banker, and he told me how to build my credit up. And from that point on, I would always buy something, pay it off, buy something, pay it off. And it would get to the point to where I would try to pay off, let's say, about $2,000. I would try to pay that off in less than less than a month or two. Absolutely, he would. And I would be completely broke. <laughs> and I'm talking about broke to the point to where... Hamburger heifer. <laughs> noodles. Or noodles. <laughs> I couldn't get both. I had to choose one. <laughs> but he had accomplished what was important to him, and that was being debt free. Exactly. I, on the other hand, was completely different. <laughs> I came to the you know to the table with, you know, a little, you know, debt financial issues. And he was he, coming with steaks and shrimps and and all types of stuff. <laughs> Like I came with a full plate of it, baby. You came with a full plate. And it was it didn't it didn't hit us until we was at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Yeah, I you remember that? Yes. And we so you guys when we moved into our first apartment, I wanted all new furniture because who doesn't? Ooh. And so yes. I was like, let's go to Nebraska Furniture Mart. They're having a good sale, and we're gonna go out there. Don't go there if you don't know what you want. Absolutely not. We were there all day. We got there at nine. And no, ten a.m. We didn't leave till like seven. 7 p.m. We were there all day, but we left out with a fully furnished apartment from the living room to the kitchen to the bedroom to the bathroom. Like, we looked everything we needed mm -hmm. for an apartment we left out with. And they were great with our customer service. They walked us through, but this is not a sponsorship, so let's move on. <laughs> so, uh, when it got time to pay for the furniture, I was like, babe, I want to go half on you with this. Like, I want, I want to take part in getting this because... I, this is going to be my first time purchasing furniture. Like, I, you know, I don't want this just to be on you because Christmas is just get the furniture for us. And I was like, I want to be a part of this. Like, this is our apartment. This is our furniture. Like, let me be a part of this. And he was like, okay. And so, you know, Nebraska wanted to run our credit or whatever to see what we qualify for. Run them coins. And uh, they gave us a call. Like, if you, I don't know if they do it the same way now. Oh, no, it wasn't a call. No, remember they called. But it was right there. Yeah, it was right there. But they called you to tell you. Uh... Remember that? Oh uh, yeah, yes. yeah. So they they the guy came back over and was like, "There's a phone call for you guys," and I was like, "What?" And they wanted to speak to me, and I was like, "Oh snap, what I did, you know?" And so I thought I because I had good work history, and honestly, I did not know where my credit score was at the See, time. See, that was my whole thing. I didn't hear that conversation. Yeah. So. And so the dude was pretty much like, you know, your credit does not allow you to purchase this with Christopher. You're going to hurt you guys unless you allow Chris just to run this and you guys can still get everything that you're looking to get today. Yeah, and we was trying to get it zero down mm -hmm. out the door. And I think it was 36 month fi free finance. Yes. 36 month free and finance. And we knew how to pay it off. That's like, a whole nother thing. <laughs> Cause I wanted to pay that butt off in like five months. Absolutely. <laughs> that was a, again, money conflict. <laughs> Um, but we definitely got to pay it off before the 36 months. But mm -hmm. I was so hurt. And I remember having to walk back over to Chris and I was like, this is so embarrassing. 
you know, I hadn't paid attention to my own credit score. I thought because I had, I was making this decent money and I had a decent job and I had wonderful work history that this shouldn't be a problem. Like they should just, you know, but credit affects you guys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can have all the money issues and be good with, or not have any money issues and be good with your money. But if your credit is bad, yes, like credit trumps money these days. Mm -hmm. And I told Chris that moving forward, I would never put us in a situation to where my credit was the issue. And so he was very, very understanding. He didn't shun me for that. He began to educate me and work with me to lift me up and to educate me to where I could conquer my credit issues. Your credit is your credibility. Absolutely. <clears throat> so you guys just be sure that you are being transparent, you know, and talking about that money, everything, money up front. You know, there's, we'll do an episode one day about everything you should know up front and talk about up front before a serious relationship and definitely marriage. But money is something you should definitely put on the table along with credit score, you know, long before you're moving in together and planning marriage and all mm -hmm. those good things. Like for things that come out the closet like that, that can ruin you guys. And if you have bad habits that you are taking into that relationship, then that's going to make it even worse. So you want to be sure that you are transparent as possible. Luckily, we both had different kind of money issues, right? And mm. we were able to be transparent about those issues and eventually hear each other. So moving on to number two. But just for starters, now we can get anything we want Absolutely. zero down. Absolutely. And we both sign on there Absolutely. and we get it up out the door. Absolutely. Or right, now I can be like, babe, I got it because it's credit. Yes. It's boom. Okay. So go. So you're going to get that camera. I told you I'd get that camera for you. All right. Hey. <laughs> I ain't got to pay that $3,500. So, you guys, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so, something else that we began to practice as far as... It's coming our... out next month. Move on. Okay. So, <laughs> something else that we began to focus on and to help us with our money management was we began to write everything down and get organized. Is that you organizing? Yeah. You see me putting stuff right. I, okay. I wrote on the, all right okay so get organized you guys they're laughing at home they huh they're laughing at home they're laughing yeah they're laughing okay okay <laughs> so just get organized you guys plan it down there are apps you can use to organize yourself and put your expenses in you know we're old school so we put pen and paper pen and paper and then we use our calendars on our phone so that we can get those reminders but we are definitely old school um chris has always wrote down his finances and again i didn't um i was like dang my phone off i forgot to pay myself i'll be like Chris looking at me i mean he'd be looking at me like alexandria and i'd be like i know I the bill's gonna be there every day well I, every month like imagine knowing your bill doing the 18th and you tell yourself you're gonna pay it but you don't say you know like because you're used to just doing what you do and something comes up and it, it may not be intentional. Like I think on that instance, I had just ended up having a long day Man. and I came in and I was starting, I went to sleep and I got up the next morning. My mom had been trying to call me. Chris had been trying to call me. And so I got up and I tried to use my own phone and it wouldn't work. And I was like, dang, I forgot to pay my cell phone bill. And, and they soon, will cut your stuff off. off. As soon as I paid it, my mom was like, literally my mom was like, you know, you and Chris gonna have to talk, right? I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> And so, so Chris was like, babe, you got to do better. Put this on your calendar. Give yourself a reminder so that, excuse me, y'all, so that you you know to, you know, make sure you, your bill is paid, especially something as important as your phone bill being mm -hmm. that we had to communicate. And I was like, I got it. And so now I don't miss Actually, I pay it early. Like, those are one of the things I learned to do with Chris is to pay it early. Pay it early. Pay it early and pay, pay it in full. Pay it early and in full. Don't you know? put five on it. Not on your phone bill. No, pay that. <laughs> so. Because for me, she was, I was writing everything down like a chart. Absolutely. And then she got me an agenda book and with a full calendar for the whole year. And that's what I use. He loves it. So every year, one of his stocking stuffers is always a new planner. And each year, I get him a better and bigger planner because he absolutely loves his planner and loves putting everything in there. Mm -hmm. He'll come. We'll sit down at the beginning of the month, you know, and he'll have his planner. I'll have my phone because, you know, what he's writing, I'm putting on the phone for us. And we just literally organize our money, get our month planned out as far as what to do. Uh, we include. East paycheck. I go through the whole week and see what needs to be paid. Mark it off after I pay it, and I screenshot all my payments <laughs> so I can have receipts. 
So we even take it a step further to say the company name, the type of bill it is, mm -hmm. um, the due date, the amount, and then of course capturing that payment once we have took it. Um, so that if it's ever any issue on the company's behalf, we can reference that we paid it at this time you on got this a receipt. Day, and you got a receipt for it. So the point is to just get organized. Whatever you gotta do to organize yourself. I know some people like using, you know, um, QuickBooks and you know excel and mm -hmm. other apps to organize itself and their expenses whatever works for you works for you but just get organized together this is not for me just to get organized and for chris to get organized and nothing like that because now we're married so it is for you guys to get organized this is something you guys should do together mm -hmm. okay number three oh, this is a good one so respect each other's effort and responsibility and share the responsibility and work together mm -hmm. and what i mean by that is you know oftentimes you'll see in a relationship where you it'll be said oh he handles the money and the bills or she handles the money and the bills i just give it to her and she pays it mm -hmm. and that can get to where that's overwhelming for one or the other yes. expecting especially expecting especially <laughs> if we're both leading busy lives right yes. and so you know chris will definitely send me all the rent money and he'll be like babe pay the rent but he can also be like hey babe I you know i'm gonna go ahead and pay rent or if on our expenses it's time for our bi-weekly grocery shopping and i haven't had a chance to get to the store and i know that it, you know we're down low and we don't want to eat out tonight and i know he's going to mm -hmm. pass grocery stores on the way home i'll be like hey babe can you go ahead and stop by the grocery store here's the grocery list this is the amount we set aside for groceries. Can you go ahead and get the groceries for us? Mm -hmm. And he'll do it. So we share the responsibility. I might handle bills and pay everything that he sends to me. And, you know, he might be the week that he's doing all the grocery shopping and all the car maintenances and things of that nature. Then it might flip to where he's handling the bills and I might have more time to take our cars in for all changes or, you know, whatever the case could be. Like we, I don't doubt and ever doubt and take away from what Chris does for me as a man and that he's definitely manly and that he handles everything. But I also think that it's unfair and very, I, I personally, I can't, I can't for women who are just like, oh, my man got to do that. It's all my man. If, if he ain't a man. I was raised like this. I was raised like this. My grandfather mm -hmm. taught me all of that. But I also saw my grandmother be the woman of the household and also take care of her man. And so for me, if I can take something off his plate every now and then, if I can, you know, add to, you know, the less of his day and take away from his day and allow him to have a smoother day. Or if I just have time, you guys, and I'm just sitting here doing nothing and just saying, oh, my man need to do it. That's so unfair. Mm -hmm. And that goes back into that happy wife, happy lifestyle for me. And for me, it's happy spouse, happy house. Yes. And so that's what we lead with. <laughs> so we definitely work together. That may not work for you. You might be one, you know, and your man might feel like he need to do everything and this and the third and you, but we just never want those level of animosity to build up all those levels of feeling unappreciated and mm -hmm. and not valued because one or the other is doing everything. So we definitely share the responsibility and making sure that we manage our money properly yes. and manage our household properly and just get through whatever it might be that needs to be done on our to-do lists. That's correct. Okay. But also um when it comes to when it comes to the different roles that we would play, it's not necessarily you take care of this. I take care of this. It all depends on who's able to take care of it or different things. Like if if I'm out and about, just about every, probably every every other day on my way home, I call, see if we need anything just in case we need potatoes for that day because we didn't get potatoes the previous week. Mm -hmm. Or if you need me to stop and pick up something. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to like the cars and taking everything out, I try to fix as much as I can myself. Absolutely. <laughs> if I can't, um, I'll help you. I'll help you get whatever taken care of. We'll we'll shop around. We'll find the best price. Absolutely. Uh, we'll we'll split it, or either I'll go. Either I'll pay for it, or either you'll pay for it, and we'll just come back together at the end once all the payments and everything is together. We just take care of everything together absolutely again it's a joint effort you know chris does all those manly things like when ladies we want our man to check off all those boxes so he makes sure my you know my car is gas he makes sure my car is cleaned he takes the trash he helps around the house he does all those things you know along with making sure you know i'm good i'll be cooking 
he definitely be chef for and only in it in the kitchen and it's y'all can see i mean good not missing no meals and he can definitely cook so i appreciate that in him can we can we can i get the eggs go ahead okay thank you so, you know, I appreciate that in him. So it's very important for me to show that whenever I get an opportunity. And so that means me taking something off his plate. If that means me saying, hey, babe, I know that, you know, your cell phones do often to pay mine. I know yours do as a week later. I'm going to go ahead and take care of both my cell phone mm -hmm. bills. You're good. Don't worry about it. Focus on something else, you know. And like I said, it just works. It works for us and how we do things. And yes, he is the provider. He takes care of majority. You okay? Mm-hmm. It was an inside burp. All right, excuse you. Yeah, I didn't want that to come out. It was going to be real bad. <laughs> okay, so he takes care of everything, <laughs> and he sends me the money to take care of everything, so he's definitely that provider, that, you know, man of the household that we all look for, but we work together, you guys, and if I can take care of something I do, you know, I don't just, you know, sit over here on tons of money and be like, babe, you got it. Like, it's unfair, you know, in my opinion, to not work as a unit and move as a unit. We and are to, one. One. To make sure that you guys are, you know, definitely on board with each other and, and ensuring that, you know, the household is financially stable and stable in general when it comes down to everything that needs to be done to support the household. Mm -hmm. Fair? Yes. All right. All right. What's next on the docket? So number four that we're going to step into, we're almost finished, you guys. Again, I get, I'm giving us five tips that work for us. So this is number four. Five dollar, five dollar foot long. You don't even like Subway, so let's stop. I love Subway. Okay, whatever. When it's actually a good sandwich. <laughs> so, number four. don't make four. good sandwiches like that no more. Number five. We're on number four. Yeah, four. Number four. <laughs> so, you guys, it's important. Even if you guys are, you know, I know couples do this differently. Some couples... It's another Tupac. Right? <laughs> so, he's going to show y'all. Just, just so you know. Right. Okay. Right. So number four, you guys, is going to be ensuring that you have your own spending money. A lot of couples have joint accounts. A lot of couples have an account they share, which is how we function. We have our separate accounts. Sprinkle. And then we have an account that we both have Sprinkle. access to where we, you know, might put bill money, important money, money that needs to be held for something, things of that nature. Excuse me. To ensure that we can function out of that account. Mm -hmm. But it is very important to have your own spending money. Excuse me, y'all. Okay. Okay, it's very important okay? to have yeah <laughs> to have your own spending money and to have those healthy buying habits. The last thing I want to do to Chris is make it seem like I'm controlling him on what he can and cannot spend, and vice versa. You know, so this is money that you're spending, this healthy spending money, and this you know um, money that you want to use in any way should not affect the household. Mm -hmm. It should not affect bills. And it should not limit us in any kind of way. This is your money. You do what you want to do with it. You do not have to consult me about it and vice versa. Now, of course, if I be like, oh, baby, these shoes cute. I'm going to buy this. That's different. But to be like, babe, can I buy this? Do we have the money for this? Like, you have to budget accordingly. Mm -hmm. And in budgeting accordingly, you should have spending money to spend on each other, spend for yourself and things of that nature so that you cannot feel like you've done something wrong or mm -hmm. you hindered the relationship, hindered the financial situation because you splurged on something. Again, yes. we're all working hard for our money. We all are earning our money and we should be able to spend our money, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, to ensure... Depending on how big it is. If it's a big purchase, I would say still... I mean, you, could, you probably can still buy it, but just consult with the other person. Absolutely. Something that's that's real big. Like if you can go spend a thousand or two thousand dollars. <sighs> yes, and Chris will do it in a minute on the camera lens <laughs> Cause you gotta, or a new camera. Because you gotta think. Um I'm always trying to think ahead. So hmm. whereas if if I have an extra two thousand dollars, probably spend a thousand because you never know what's gonna happen. Like your car might break down, we might need to go buy something brand new or one of us might get sick. Yeah, one of us might get sick, you know, and we're gonna need that extra money to take care of something. So a family, a friend might need us. Exactly. Um. So we we do try to be 
conscious in that but we also in that also make sure we're saving so for us before we get to that spending money we have paid the bills yes we thought ahead we put something in savings and then we're okay this is our spending money let's do what we want to do with our spending money in a separate <laughs> <laughs> like I had to tell Chris, like with his job and with him being essential, they were giving him extra pay. And so I was adamant like that's for you. Don't spend that on me. Don't treat me for anything. Don't make sure I need anything like that is for you. Add that to your spending money and that's away from your paycheck. That is something for you going out and doing for you. And I wanted him to spend that on him. That money's already gone. But he spent <laughs> it on him. And I wanted him to do so. I did not want him about to one do. thing. It was That's a lens. fair. It was a lens. <laughs> but again, we all have our things. For me, it's hair stuff, makeup, clothes, shoes. And for Chris, it's all electronics. Like you know, everything electronics, games. You know, that's him. Mm -hmm. Car stuff. So it, it, we all have the things we like, right? But you know, you gotta have those healthy spending habits and be able to treat yourself and then spend the money that is just for you to spend. Uh, no, I bought my truck with that. I think I bought my truck with that, the lens I bought previously. Okay. Yeah. Well, either way, you just make sure that you have your own spending money that you can do whatever you want to do with. Fair? Budget it. Budget it in. All right. So, um, number five is to... Five dollar. Stop. Long. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> So number five is to make a plan and knock out financial goals. I got together. five on it. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I got five. it. Good. Make a plan and knock out financial goals together. That's right. So that's what number five is, you guys. Support. That was the next thing she was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> support each other financial goals <laughs> and you know this will allow teamwork this will show your teamwork this will show how well you guys work as a team and move mm -hmm. as a team it will allow you to have healthy communication growth along with money communication and yes. just healthy building um this will also allow you to hold each other accountable so for me if i know i want to pay something off by the 30th and he want to pay something nah, off, you're not doing it you better take care of this first no. 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 Okay. So if I know you guys, <laughs> I'm just trying to hold you accountable. Thank you. Not so <laughs> roughly, right? No. <laughs> I need it, you guys. It's, I need it. I need it. So yeah. you want to hold each other accountable. So if you know you got something due on the thirtieth, then he might have something due. You know, the following, you know, in three months that he want to get took care of. It's fair to check in with each other and be like, how is how is that going, babe? You know. You know, where are you at on that? You know, can I assist you in any kind of way? Just holding each other accountable. That way, you know, you're ensuring that you're knocking out those goals together mm -hmm. and that you are getting it done and not putting a strain on and the pressure on yourself because you just feel like you got to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. So he'll check in with me and be like, babe, how's it going? I'm like, it's going good. I'll check in with him. And like, if one of us finished before each other or get something done before a goal, we'll be like, hey. Take this here get that yeah you will be like hey you know can i help you here's something for you to get what you're getting done as well mm -hmm. and you know do that way we can go ahead and knock it out a little sooner and then you guys for me it's major chris functions a little differently he can just check things off and go 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 and he doesn't necessarily need to see the reward and the reward reward for him is seeing that it is paid off it's paid but for me i like to celebrate my win <laughs> i like to not have a bill the next month absolutely same but i like to celebrate my winning motivates me to see that i've done something and i'm not saying you guys go create a whole nother bill or debt but like maybe go get go the, buy that motorcycle no go buy it no christopher get you a corvette you guys you wait, deserve wait, it wait. you deserve it wait stop, <laughs> stop. don't let him get y'all in trouble <laughs> stop it's just money no christopher you're gonna make I'm it again your middle name and you're gonna make it again next week all right don't do that <laughs> he's playing he does not move like that y'all yeah. know you know chris you know chris don't move that way i don't have a motorcycle <laughs> I, I don't have a corvette i mean yeah so i, I can like dream. to celebrate i can dream you can drink we don't have all those things. oh yeah i'm getting it's it not just a dream. that's, on our, that's it. on our goal i get it i it's get on it dream board it's on my docket it's on the, it's on the vision board so it's gonna happen <laughs> So with, with that being said, you want to be sure that you are celebrating, you know, however it might be, if you be like, yes, I did this and you make yourself a steak, which is what he does. Mm -hmm. He makes himself a steak. A nice, juicy, thick steak and just steak, potatoes, some shrimp, a little bit of shrimp and then 
Broccoli. I might have steak the whole day. I might make steak and eggs for breakfast. That's true. That's <laughs> and then I have steak and shrimp for dinner. That's true. And in between, so, I have like little steak cubes <laughs> that I cut up and I make me like a little steak omelet. Or a salad. You done the salad? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It was good. So for him, it's to celebrate with a good steak. For me, I was like, babe, I want to go do something. <laughs> so we might go out. We might, you know, you know, spend a day doing some things. We might. Every now and then I might go to the mall and he'll go with me to the gallery and we'll go to lunch and I'll get some things from lunch and, you know, might pop in Sephora. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Sephora, I miss you. Uh, might pop into Sephora or Ulta. Now, so your Sephora might just be as expensive as my camera equipment. Nuh-uh. I may get one thing, but if you get multiple things, it's going to add up to the same price as a lens. Mm -mm. If you get four things, it, it will add up to the price of a oh. not two thousand dollars. Nah, I ain't talking about the two thousand dollars. I'm talking about a couple of hundred dollars. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? <laughs> Anywho, you could easily go in there and spend about true. three or five. So you know, that's how we celebrate. That's how we do. And you know, if it's something that we it's a goal together, then we going all out for it. You know, we gonna get dressed up. We gonna get out. We gonna go do something. We gonna celebrate. Our accomplished we're gonna pop a bottle of champagne we're gonna do something just to know that we celebrated not to go off yes you can violate my car <laughs> absolutely <Yeah. laughs> pull, up, pull up the period then, and get out and let it ballet okay anywho <laughs> anywho so you guys that are all five topics top topics <laughs> I, I said topics i mixed topics and topics you don't even like talkies i don't so let's just go back to them really quick so number one is to be transparent about your money see through and your you know financial everything so that you can remove any financial conflict do that from the beginning you guys if you have not done that do it do it save yourself the the arguments the drama the embarrassment and just be this is where again where i touched on you need to be vulnerable with each other mm -hmm. and have a safe space with each other to be able to talk about everything so if you can't do it with your spouse you who can you do it with you got to be able to talk about those money habits those money issues together you can't just pray you can't just pray and say God to take care of everything. Absolutely. Because he, he, he not going to be bad. So, He'll be there. <laughs> but you're going to have to still deal with that argument. <laughs> he may so, not be there. Number two. He'll be there right on time. <laughs> right on time as you talk about that money issue. And you're about to go downhill. So just know that you need to be transparent with each other. That's number one. Number two is to, is to get organized. However it is that you get organized, we get organized by writing it down at the beginning of the month and bi-weekly to ensure we're staying on track and that things are done and we communicate with each other as we get things done. So you definitely want to get organized and just whatever it is to create your money management plan. Um, number three is, is to respect each other's efforts and to share the responsibility and making sure that those financial mm -hmm goals are met um number four is to have your own spending money do what you want to do with your money don't can try to control each other's money and things of that nature because that is unfair but be sure to have your spending money and create those healthy buying habits you got it ball out ball out um, buy you a motorcycle or a corvette four, number five <laughs> is to make a plan and knock out goals together and to be a each other accountability partner through all of this okay so just be sure that you apply it the way you want to apply it if mm -hmm. you have some different tips if you do things differently if you know something that we should use or that has helped you manage in your relationship and your match share it with us we would definitely love to check out and look into it and be able to apply it because we are always revamping our money management plan because things change you know income gets better bills get bigger you know we might play off some things and so now we have that extra money that can go into savings one tip if you do end up getting a raise let that become part of your savings absolutely if you've been living off of the amount of money that you've been making absolutely that extra money absolutely throw that into your savings and that was something that you know we we learned together you know and for us as our money has increased where this coming from our businesses for us when we have our jobs then when that increases we do do that we stay on the amount of money that we've been surviving off of we don't mm -hmm. create extra bills we don't go and buy extra things we allow that to be savings and then we'll look up and now our savings has tripled doubled because we are putting into it what we didn't need to use you then know? you can take that money and buy a motorcycle okay clearly he wants a motorcycle you guys <laughs> so let's go ahead or corvette 
on his list, you guys. So <laughs> to wrap up, you guys, you want to be sure that you are on the same page. You want to be honest. Mm -hmm. You want to create a money management plan that works for you. Our plan may not work for you, but you want to get something that works for you guys so that you can remove those money arguments and financial conflicts. And then you want to be, be, be a unit and move forward as a unit and ensure that you guys are not, you know, dropping the ball in that mm -hmm. area because it just takes the, the slightest thing for it to get tilted and get to where it's an issue. So, and it's going to happen because we're all, we're human, but how you set that foundation will allow you to move past it, address it and move past it. Okay. Come on, man. It's 2020. We're in this together. Okay. So <laughs> what? I mean, you can't do everything on your own, especially if you're married. Y'all are in that together. Absolutely. And you know, so many people, you know, have their different opinions on how they want their household to go, their marriage to go and things to be. But we like doing everything together, you know, as far as how we move and how we make sure that we share the load as far as taking things off each other's plates when we can communicate and properly and just being upfront and stuff, you know. I'll have things pop up that I wasn't expecting, situations pop up that I wasn't expecting, and immediately I go to Chris about it because I don't think it's fair for me to try to handle it by myself. Mm -hmm. um, not saying I won't handle it, you know, but him knowing, you know, and, he, and you'll be shocked. He'll be like, oh, babe, I've dealt with that before. Here, we do this. Take care of it together. Yeah. You know, and now we've worked together to get it done. So just be on the same page, you guys, and create a money management plan that works for you. Mm -hmm. So those are our five tips. Five. No. Okay. <laughs> And we are, you know, going to pretty much wrap up with you guys. And we just want to say thank you for joining this lovely conversation. Again, share your tips with us. Let us know, you know, the things that you might do to, you know, break those financial barriers in your marriage, your relationship. Anything that'll help me get a motorcycle and a Corvette quicker, let me know. Please <laughs> help your boy. <laughs> So with that being said, be sure to, if you've enjoyed this video, you know, to share this video, give us some comments, like this video, you know, give us that feedback that we are looking for and want you guys to be a part of. Also be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us here on YouTube, hit that bells to turn on the notifications, select the all so that you get every content, every video, every Everything. Wednesday. And then also follow us on our social media because I tend to do a lot more on our social medias. And that's going to be Facebook and Instagram. You got and little tips and tricks. Absolutely. I do share lovely tips and tricks on how to, you know, do things. It's three points. I share that every Friday. We might do a giveaway. Mm -hmm. You know, I might just post a clip of a video coming up. You know, I might re, you know, vamp some things and recover some things. I might give a question of the day. So just follow us on our social media. It's Facebook and it's Instagram. That's lovely. L-O-V-E, capital L capital e, e capital e, e conversations with an s a lovely conversations and you can find us that way on every platform as far as instagram and facebook and i just recently started our pinterest as well so for my pinterest lovers and move board lovers you can definitely jump on that as well and it's the same lovely conversations with an s and you will see everything we're doing you guys if you google us we're the only thing that comes up. So yes. you guys are really loving us, giving us that work mm -hmm. and that support. <laughs> um, because when we Google ourselves, it pops up from our Pinterest to our Facebook, to our Instagram, to our YouTube, and to what you guys are sharing and doing. So we definitely appreciate that. You like a rapper. So we definitely, <laughs> definitely appreciate it. And thank you for that. So with that being said, we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.